Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to be working on some stuff, um, mostly Galaga. As you can see, I have Galaga boards freaking stacked everywhere in the workshop today, and um, I'm going to tackle something that people um, have some problems with, which is the corrosion on the custom chips. Now, you look at some of these chips and you can see how badly corroded all the legs are how nasty they are and this can lead to a lot of problems on the boards where the, you get a lot of errors and nothing works right and then you get other chips where they're so old the legs like this one right here just fall off like that and then you're left with a problem where you gotta find out how you're going to tackle this when you're going to fix this broken leg on these chips. So what I'm going to do today is show you an easy way to clean these and potentially fix broken legs on these chips. So the first thing I found that you need is you're going to need some rubbing alcohol, some Brasso, an old toothbrush, and X-Acto knife would be good to have handy for scraping off some of the corrosion on the little um, broken off legs and some needle nose pliers and some snips and and you get yourself one of these uh, little flat edged pliers and I'll show you what you're going to do with them afterwards and um, basically what you need to do is set yourself up here, get like an old shot glass, something that's really crummy, and fill it up with some rubbing alcohol. That way you have something to clean your chips with uh, after you're done scrubbing them up with the brass. So make sure you shake up your brass real good, get yourself a crappy rag, and just squirt some of this stuff on here. And what I found the easiest way to do to clean these chips is just to take them here, take your toothbrush, lay them on the side, and just scrub the hell out of them. Flip them over, and scrub the hell out of the other side, the insides, until it's perfectly clean. And you can already see how much nastiness has come off these things and then what I usually do is try to get the chips coated with some of the brass so clean them up real good gonna need a little more then what I usually do is take the chip from end to end like this and your fingers on the side and then get it some more brass so on it and then just gently rub it on your rag until the chips all the corrosion starts coming off and you do this real gently because some of these legs are real brittle still and you just keep doing this until you basically get all the corrosion off then you end up with the chips looking like this nice shiny legs just do it again with the other side sometimes this takes a while sometimes it cleans up real fast Yeah, that's pretty good. But now you're left with all that brass that's stuck on the chip legs. So, I mean, that's, look at all that. That's all that stuff that's stopping your chip from working. It's all gummed up. So now you just take your toothbrush, dip it in the alcohol real quick, hold the chip, and scrub the brass off into the rag. 
Do the same thing for the other side. And again, just try to clean up all the brass out and stuff and make sure the chip's clean. Then dry it off. You might have to do this one or two times to get it all, all the residue off, but after that you should be left with a pretty clean chip. So I'm going to have to do that one more time on that side. Then what you're left with is something that's got really shiny clean legs and you don't do a lot of damage to the chip. I've heard a lot of guys trying to using Dremel wheels on these things and sandpaper and you know I just think that's way too aggressive <laughs> especially with something that, that these legs are getting brittle they're falling off and you can easily do that without all that hassle of like worrying about legs flying across the room from uh, using your little Dremel wire wheel and stuff. So um, the next thing I do is get your exacto knife and then that one leg that fell off earlier. What you do is you kind of scratch clean any corrosion that may be on top of that leg so that it's all shiny. And that's the heater kicking on if you can hear it. <laughs> You do that top and bottom. Just kind of make sure it's all shiny. So then you're left with a little shiny nub sticking out of there. So now what do you do? So what I do is get some solder and tin this real quick. Make sure that solder's sticking to the leg. Get a top and bottom. Now, as far as a replacement leg goes, what I do is I got a real bad a, a processor chip that was bad. So this is a 63C09, and basically you could use like ZAs, you can use anything, old EEPROMs, uh, stuff that's just in your scrap pile. So what I do is I take my needle nose pliers, put it up as far as I'll go, and just work these until they pop off. No, oh, that one didn't work too well. Let's see. And then your the leg will pop off, and what you're left with is a new leg. You how much you can see that for your chip. So take your pliers again, flatten out the edges, get them in here, get it so you just have a little bit of the top sticking out like that, if you can see that. And get yourself, let's see, a piece of sandpaper would be ideal right now. yourself a piece of sandpaper and go here and clean the top and bottom sides of it. Just shine it up real quick. I don't know how much you can see that but I shine both sides back and front. Now we're going to come over here again and tin the leg the soldering iron, both sides. Now, we don't need the rag. Grab these flat edged pliers and prop them up here so that your chip is held up in the pliers like that. What you're going to do is take your soldering iron and line this up as best you can just heat it up real quick. 
Then what you're left with is a brand new leg on your chip. You can also use these flat ones here to kind of straighten them out so it lines up with the rest of the chips. That's a little off center. I'm going to hit that one more time. got it in here, you'll notice that the leg on the end is a little longer than the other ones. So what you're going to do is just trim off the end of it so it's about the same length. And that's the fixed chip. So now the last thing to do is to come over to your working board, turn that off, and this is a 0727 chip. So let's see. Here's the 07. So you got one end on the video board for this one. You gently pry out your chip with a little screwdriver. Take it out. Put your new one in. Careful with the leg. Make sure it's in there good. Then Turn on your game to test it. And everything looks good. So uh, that's how you go about uh, testing and cleaning and fixing your Galaga custom chips. So next time you uh, have a problem with your board, get yourself some cleaning solution here and uh, clean up your chips and uh, fix your game. I'll see you guys next time. This is my arcade workshop with Brian and uh, see you guys later.